All right, this is Shane with the Rational Trader. It's Friday the 19th, 19th after a, a pretty wild week. Um, we're going to look at the SIM result here, which is at 43 points in the uh, NASDAQ. My, my live result was minus 115. I took a very conservative approach. In the room this morning, we were talking about you really ought to stand aside. Um, and anyway, so that's what happened live. I, I had to close that in order free of resources to run the, the, the testing I'm running over here. But uh, for members, you can see that what I'm doing here in this upper left window is the next step that we've been talking about in terms of modeling. And I've got, you know, separate models for the different locations. All right. And this is what is what ran here. Um, with the following settings All right so let's review those settings first so normal limit entry offset of one now we've been more conservative recently with a bigger number but um, it, it doesn't work out as well if you use if you're more conservative with that entry um, I don't know how I don't know if that holds yet or if the, if it's you know specific to today we'll talk about it tomorrow we'll have more data tomorrow at our um, at our update um, it has this new feature which is stop um, if you've lost mo more than two hundred dollars so if you you know if you get up 300 and then you lose more than 200 it'll just stop trading all right um, that's two trades so basically you could you could lose two trades and then it'll still take one more so you, it just, just depends on what you want. Um, this is two trades if you're trading two contracts. All right, so it's a hundred dollars per trade. Um, the max, the max daily loss is one seventy five. So te, so is that right? That's actually too, that's actually a bit low for what I'm doing. This should be like two fifteen. Um, because I'm using 10 tick stops here, and so what we want is we want to, we want to take two trades. If you get if, if you get, uh, I'm willing to risk. I'm willing to uh, lose $300 here. So I'm trading two contracts. So if I so it's $100 of risk per trade. So if I lose, if I if I get if I get tagged twice, I still want to take one more trade, but I have to give it some slippage. So I give it three ticks of slippage. So two, 215 is what it should be. The the test I just I ran here using um, use less than that so we actually didn't, didn't even, we didn't trigger that this is the maximum gain if you get to a thousand dollar gain then it will it, it'll stop as well um, and then the max trade loss is the safety net in case something happens all of the adding is turned off um, the environment's been too whippy and and, and crazy and then I, I don't, I'm not doing the special processing at low volume nodes in this test, okay? Um, so we end up with, uh, let's take a look at how it does, all right? Um, here is the first, stop that. So the first trade here is 723-ish. Um, it gets first target, it's a long on, on, the, on the break of this level. Um, it gets 20 and then scratch, so you're you're up a little bit. And back from a little interruption there. Uh, so first trade, you know, fortunate enough to get 20 ticks and then you scratch out on the second contract. Um, market is making really big moves. Uh, you know what? I forgot I forgot to check. Do I have it set to allow revert uh, restrict direction or not outside of the it's not okay so it won't it it'll go ahead and go long and short when you're outside the value area so there's no restriction there so here we take a loss uh, down so we'll lose five points there market wants to get long it's, it says the, the machine thinks that that break's going to fail uh, let's see here we fall back so the value area high jumps up so we're back inside the value area here um, this is something that's interesting um, that I noticed in the live trading as well. We we don't restrict trades when we're inside the value area based upon if the market looks choppy. And that is a reasonable 
thing when the value area is a reasonable size. But lately, the markets have been so wild that um, here's a good example where I would not take a trade in here. This is, this is too sideways. And the, and the wave delta system would catch that and say, don't, don't take a trade there. Um, but because we're inside the, the, volume, the value area at a low volume node, it goes ahead and does it. So that's something to think about. I may, have to, I may, I may want to adjust that um, to the size of the value area or something like that. The idea is that if you're, if you're inside the value area, then there's some sort of, there's, there's some assumption that you're, you know, you're, you're in the bell curve of, of the, uh, of the distribution. And basically if there's a low volume node within that, within that distribution and you're far enough away from the point of control, it's safe to trade regardless of how choppy it looks. Um, that's true for normal conditions. Uh, these aren't normal conditions, so I'm, I, I need to think about that. Um, get long here, and then get first target, and I, we don't think we quite hit. Yeah, so 14 and a quarter points. So doing quite well at this point. So now the give back feature will, if you give back $200, more than 200, then it'll, it'll stop trading is the idea if that works correctly. So here's, you know, give back five points, give back 10. Um, one more loss and you're done here, the way, the way I coded it, because that's $200 right there. Uh, the next trade though, you know, gets 100 back basically. And then you scratch, uh, yeah, you scratch there on a short and then make a little bit on a short. Um, and then take a loss on a short, though that one's a little painful because um, the market does fall there. That's the case where we, we move the stop uh, because you get uh, you get plus 10. Move the stop to entry minus five and then you get tagged there for that fall. Um, okay, this is the poster child for what we're interested in. Um, long there first target and then max target of plus 20 points. That's a, that's a wonderful exit too. Um, if we had done ads, no ad would have kicked off here. It's your, there's no case there where the ad would have worked. Let's see, uh, what else? So then we give back here and we give back here. And I think we're close to, oh no, no. Then we make money here. Okay, so it's basically, you know, here, after this, you're close to being at a point where you're going to stop if you take another loss, all right? Um, and, but the next trade makes some cash. And then, uh, look at how wild this is. And then, okay, so now there's a give back there. Um, taking a loss, trying to get long right there. Another kind of a nick, not the best looking trade. Um, we're outside the value area at that point, by the way. Now we're coming back in and fall and try to get long right there. Okay, so take a loss. And I think, I th okay, so I, yeah, so at that point, you can see how we have these arrows here, but there are no trades now. So the system is saying, hey, I see trades that you said meet the criteria but the 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 toll system's been turned off now has been disabled because that loss here took us beyond our our limit so the total there is 4325 on the, on um, on this simulation i'm i'm going to run several more here um i'm curious to see if uh, I'm a little confused if, about my give, that give back feature if that's actually working correctly. So I, I, I want to do some testing there. Um, and then I want to, I'd like to put in the low processing nodes and see, because what, you know, really what's being tested here is these new, these new models, this, this, this modeling approach. Okay. And so, um, I, want to, I think the first thing I'll do is I'm going to run the same day um, today again, it's right here. No, it's here. Um, but with the normal low processing uh, nodes in, so we'll kick that off. 
And um, where is that? Do I have those here? Yeah, there. Um, so we'll add those codes in that'll say, okay, go ahead and take the simplified price action at low volume nodes. And I, my expectation is that, oh shoot, control C is not gonna work there. Um, my expectation is that it would not do as well. All right, because the market's too wild. You don't want simplified processing. You want you want more more complex price action. <laughs> um, so, but let's see. I mean, it, it, what I'll do is I'll run, I'll run this for Friday again with that setting now, with taking those trades, and then whichever one does better, I'll run for the whole week, and then we can present that. Uh, um, tomorrow for um, at, at the at the bi-weekly update I'm also very close to having the same set of of models ready for the ES so uh, this was, when I think that'll finish in time for me to run a test overnight and we can have we can have that data to look at in the morning all right so we can kick this off here and depending on when it finishes maybe I'll just add it to this video so you can see me do that it's actually right here I think so starting at, at, at uh, 7 o'clock so we start at 705 actually so we we need to build up some some bars so we start at 7 o'clock here let's click play and then uh, we will come back and take a look at that um, after it finishes all right so here we are um, it it's only 11 o'clock on Friday in the replay but the system has already stopped because it it um, it hit its its two hundred dollar give back um, for members. You, you can see how disable auto trading is set to one, and <clears throat> for those of you that are more a little bit more technical, if you click on details, it's it'll show you the exactly how it's calculating that out. Um, this might be a little, a little too technical, but some of you might appreciate it. If you open this up and look at it, you can see there's three conditions, one, two, or three. Any of these conditions are true and it'll, it'll, it'll disable. One of them is I've lost too much. One of them is I hit the profit target. And this one down here is I gave back more than I, uh, more than I specified. All right. And so, um, when you go, when you click on this cell and you click details, it, it whoops, sorry. It will, um, it actually shows you, this Sierra chart is just amazing in this respect. It actually shows you those three conditions and which one of the three is evaluating to true, which is the, which is one, zero is false. So that, you know, this first one is I've lost too much. The second one is I, I hit my max profit. And the third one is I gave back too much. So, um, I don't need to go any further in in time to understand. Okay, I'm I'm done here. Um, <laughs> a little, little technical zero chart uh, review there. So let's see what let's see what happened. It, it, that that met my expectations. I was expecting that the the wild volatile times will you'll do worse um, with the the more simplified view of the price action at low volume nodes both because there's a way more low vo low volume nodes popping up everywhere because the markets are making such wild moves and also because it's because it's more volatile you kind of don't want simplified processing you want or simplified price action you want more complex price action to help understand at least give you a little bit more of a, a better understanding of what's happening let's take a quick look i haven't looked at this yet um let's see where we ran afoul of the uh the processing but what this means is okay so we start here what this means is that um i'm gonna run a test for the full week using last week's model with um only the traditional TRT codes without the low processing codes. And then we'll, we'll review that next, uh, we'll review that tomorrow, actually. Um, so if you're watching this video and you wanted to see that review, and it's after, I mean, today's the 19th, and it's after the, the 20th, then what you would do is you'd go and you'd go and look for the machine learning update video for October 20th, all right? Um, so we get long there and uh, scratch out, and then we get long there and take a loss. 
and we get long there and this should look familiar because what's going to happen is all the normal TRT stuff we saw previously we're going to take but we're also going to take some additional um, um, codes at the low volume nodes. Uh, let's see, so we take a loss there and then we, we catch this nice long, that is an absolutely gorgeous entry right there. So that is a low volume node processing trade right there. Okay. Um, did we catch that one on the other? I don't. I don't think we did. I think the first one we just we caught it later, and only got 14 points. Here, what's happening is, um, it's seeing this blast through the low volume node, right there. That low volume node there. That 197 means um, you're blowing through that that low volume node, but I think you're not going to continue because it's a one it means long so the next up bar you know we look we look we look for the next two up bars and you get in right there what a gorgeous entry um so a nice trade there uh this is uh give back a bit give back a bit. i remember seeing those two in the last video in the last or earlier in the video scratch there that's a traditional code uh 128 this is a Uh, is this the 14.5 one? Yeah, yeah, this is the one that we saw earlier. All right, let's see what else here. Ah, see, here's where we're going to start to run into trouble here. So, take a loss, take a loss, take a loss. And that I think you're probably done right there. That's enough. You gave back too much, and so you stopped. Um, you can see the problem is that we're looking for simplified price action at low volume nodes. Because what we see in normal conditions is the, the market will get to those levels and do exactly what you see right there. It'll just bounce off of it. Um, but, but in normal times, you don't have a zillion moves during the day. You just have a few. And so we, we were missing those moves uh, because we're looking for more complex price action. Um, in this environment, though, you can see how it can, it can harm you. All right. So I think that pretty much figures it out for me what to do here. And now what I'm going to do, yeah, see all these, all these, all these things are showing up. Hey, here, here's a, here's a trade, but we've disabled auto trading because we came back too much. So a big difference, 1950 on the day versus what was it, 42 or 43. So now I'm going to run this um, for the whole week using um, the the settings that generated more 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 dollars today. And then we'll review that tomorrow. And I'm I'm really close to having the model built for the ES. So I'll try to get them both done, and then we can re we can review both of those tomorrow.